Once again, a big welcome from Northrop and Johnson. I'm delighted that sales are continuing to be very strong. The market's active, boats are moving, and contracts are being closed. On the charter side, again, great news. Whilst there was a lot of uncertainty for a period of time, cruising grounds are now opening up more and more, and travel restrictions are being relaxed. So we're seeing more and more demand in the charter market too. Great news all round, almost at record levels. Whether it's sales or charter, what we bring to the party as Northrop & Johnson is information and insight. Whether it's technical, whether it's about the market, whether it's fiscal or taxation or whatever, we want to guide our clients to make the best decisions. Part of that information that we share is our Superyacht news each month. Here's the news for June. The yachting industry continues to go from strength to strength, with interesting new models arriving on the market. Notably, United Arab Emirates-based Gulfcraft have just launched the largest composite production yacht ever to be built. The Majesty 175 is a 780 gross ton, 175 foot long super yacht designed by Cristiano Gatto. Hull number no. one has seven guest staterooms, and six crew cabins. You likely have also heard the sad news that German shipyard Nobiskrug recently filed for insolvency. This shipyard had previously built iconic superyachts such as Sailing Yacht A and Tatouche. Now, more positive news has emerged as the insolvency administrators have appointed PwC to search for potential new investors. Meanwhile, in Turkey, the RMK shipyard have announced an interesting new project in collaboration with Dutch design firm Vrepak. RMK have previously built yachts as diverse as Nazanin 5 and Calliope. Now, together with Vrepak, they have started to construct a 37-metre explorer yacht called Seven Seas, with a steel hull and a boat deck for two 7.5-metre tenders, she really is built to go long distances and promises to be a significant addition to their fleet. The yacht sales market is still very strong, with an astonishing 84 brokerage sales recorded in the last 30 days. Northrop & Johnson were happy to report outstanding results, with sales including the 37-metre Benetti Tanusha, two Pershing yachts, the classic 40-metre yacht Arionis, and many more. Noteworthy sales this month include a new build project from Italian yard Tancoa, who announced the sale of a 58-metre project called T580 and programmed for delivery in April 2024. Still, at 58 metres, the Abingham Erasmussen Amaral has also just been sold. This yacht formerly sailed under the name of Lady Sheridan and had an asking price of $34,950,000. And finally, the 45-metre Sunrise yacht Atom has found a new owner. Built in 2014, she had an asking price of $12.9 million and now has changed her name to Audacis. There are some noteworthy new additions to the sales fleet too. Of particular note, the 58-metre Royal Houseman Ngoni has come onto the market with an asking price of 45 million euro. This really is an iconic vessel, launched in 2017 and designed by Dubois. Another very iconic yacht that has become available for sale is the 86-metre Ocean Co Seven Seas. Launched in 2010, she was designed by Nuvolari Leonard and has seven guest staterooms with a capacity for 28 crew. Her asking price is 131 million euro. And to complete a trio of Dutch yacht builders, we draw your attention to the 57.5 meter fed ship, Halo. Built in 2015, it is rare to find a fed ship of this size and age available for sale. Northrop & Johnson brokers recently inspected her and are ready to give their feedback. Her asking price is 64 million euro. We have some exciting news from the world of Charter 2 as some interesting new yachts join the fleet. Northrop & Johnson are happy to present the classic 39.56 metre gentleman's yacht Arionis. 
Arionis has five staterooms for 10 guests and has a crew of eight. She charters for 75,000 euro per week low season and 90,000 euro per week high season. She shall be available in the Western Mediterranean. Also new to the world's charter fleet is Life Saga, a 42.43 meter Heeson yacht that can accommodate 12 guests in five staterooms. Life Saga also has a crew of eight. Currently lying in Italy, she's available in the Western Mediterranean with charter rates of 110,000 euro per week in the high season and 100,000 euro in the low season. And the largest yacht to join the world's charter market this month is without a doubt the impressive 62 meter San Lorenzo Cloud 9. She benefits from a veritable armada of water toys and can accommodate 12 guests in seven staterooms. Delivered to her owner this year, she will be available at a rate of 525,000 euro per week. So in conclusion, it's not just the weather that's warming up, but the market is hot too. We're seeing almost unprecedented levels of demand from buyers and very strong interest from charterers. So if you own a yacht, and you're thinking about putting her on the market for sale or for charter, please give our team a call. We'd be delighted to help. Until next time, stay safe and have fun on the water.